Every time I hear the fire engine coming down, I, I keep thinking they're coming here because all that fire up in here. <laughs> the Holy Ghost fire is going on here. And oh, I thank God. I thank God for this, this opportunity to be here. I uh, wasn't feeling the best today, but I'm feeling good now. <laughs> and I'm grateful to be here. Uh, my, my name is Marcus Martin. I'm the uh, founder of Grace Beyond Borders in East Chicago. We work with our homeless population. I'm in agreement with every prayer that has gone forth today. I'm in agreement with every prayer and we'll be standing with you not only today but a continuation as we pray for our communities. God called me to the streets. God called me to the streets. I didn't plan that. That wasn't my plan. <laughs> he called me to heroin, cocaine, crack cocaine, alcohol dens. He took me into the darkness in our communities. The people that come that I deal with are not only in East Chicago, they come from Chicago, Illinois, as far as Lake Station, as far as south as Dyer. They come from all over. They're hurting. They're lost. They need help. When the pandemic hit, I thought this was insane, but it came from God, so it wasn't. But he told me to go to the streets during the pandemic, and everybody began to question, well, you doing what? I said, this is doing what God told me to do. So for 124 straight mornings, I was there, and God said, you tell them about Jesus. You don't just feed them. You tell them about Jesus. You don't just give them the personal hygiene and the food. You tell them about Jesus. And you pray with them, but you tell them who the Savior is and why they need the Savior. You tell them about the lake of fire. You tell them about turning from their wicked ways. You tell them about Jesus. And only one person during those 124 days ever came out with me and stood with me and went out on the street with me. And she told them about Jesus. And that was Sade kind of skill. So I thank God for her. I thank God for stand, her standing, and so it was one that day we was out there, right? So I'm just saying, many are called. Few are chosen. We all, if you, if you feel with the Holy Spirit, you got an assignment. And your assignment is not just to shout in church and dance in church. Your assignment is to go out and tell somebody about Jesus. Am I right? Your assignment is to tell somebody. Don't just give them $5 and say, God bless you. Don't just give them that $20 bill you give them and say, God, take my hey, angels, take my photo. Okay, God, you see I'm doing the good works here. Tell them about Jesus. That population, right before I go to pray for our homeless population, they need each and every one of you. They're hurting. They may not look like they may not look like the person you want to talk with. But remember, they may be sleep deprived, tired, hungry. So they may not be smiling, but don't stop you from saying, "Hey, have you eaten today?" And when you get their food, you tell them about Jesus. You take that opportunity that God opens that door for you to tell them about Jesus. Because they want Jesus. They just don't know how or feel worthy that they could have Jesus. They don't feel worthy enough to come to Jesus. But we know we all sin and come short of the glory of God. Okay, we all had to get saved. We all had to be redeemed. So why can't we tell somebody else how to be redeemed and where we were and what God brought us out of and tell them and help guide them out of that so they don't think that we are holy and righteous and they can't get there.
So I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you today. The Holy Spirit dwelling in you. In Romans 8 say the same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in us. Now that's power. That's power. Now he raised up Jesus from the dead. And that same power so we without excuse. Also, it says in the word, we're giving power. We're giving power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall harm us. I've been on the street since 2001 <laughs> in Chicago mainly. And I'm just saying, no harm has come to me. <laughs> No harm, but I tread on some serpents, and I tread on some scorp scor uh, scorpions, okay? So I just want to encourage you today as we go forward that this prayer doesn't just end here. I thank God for Sade, her heart. I've seen it. I know the love and her calling and reaching out to people and wanting people to come out because she knows the importance of prayer. We must pray. And as someone said today, we got to humble ourselves too. Okay, when you get, when you get humble, then, then, then the Holy Spirit can work when we humble ourselves. So as we bow our heads to pray, I just want just us to remember that each and every person you pass every day may not know Jesus. And it's okay to talk with them. It's okay to start a conversation. It's very easy. It's very easy. Do you want me to, is anybody sick in your household? Are you okay? Do you need prayer? It starts with prayer. This prayer starts on the street with the unsaved. Can I pray with you? 90% will say yes. 10% will say, oh, I'm good. But 90% will say yes. Because they're going to need that prayer. And are you going to pray with them? Are you going to be comfortable? Because when you start praying for them, every, everybody's walking around you now. You're outside. You're in McDonald's. You're, all, you know, you, you're in the public eye. So just keep that in mind that God's calling you to reach that lost soul. Because if we don't tell them, who's going to tell them? Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We don't see this as an ordinary day. There's some people coming out to pray. We don't see this as just <clears throat> a time where uh, 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 we just come out, you know, and feel good that we were here. <clears throat> some word has gone forth from the ministers today. There's a calling from the ministers that came up here. They gave the word to move us forward. They gave that word to us so that we would come be called to action. They gave that word to us because God gave that word to them to speak today. The prayers that they have gone for today are not just simple, ordinary, now lay me down to sleep prayers. These prayers are made today are to come against the enemy, to come against the darkness over our communities. And Lord, there shouldn't be any homelessness, but it is, and it's growing more and more. So we're calling on you, Lord, to open up doors and hearts so that the homeless people will have a safe place to sleep at night. So our men and our women and our children will not be sleeping in their cars, abandoned buildings, garages, out in the parks, in strangers' homes who they really don't know, especially being putting their kids in a very vulnerable situation. So God, we're just praying for their safety. We're praying, Lord, that more hearts will reach out, not just passing money to them, but passing the word of God to them and inviting them to Jesus, Lord. So, Lord, we thank you for you said, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. And, Lord, we declare today and every day that the works of the devil are destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen.